Hey, how you doing, folks? I have returned for that prediction video that I had spoken of that would be coming today, Friday, February 23rd, 2024. It is the University of Hawaii men's basketball team against Long Beach State. I'm going to keep this a little short today. So, anyway, guys, remember, subscribe. That's how my channel grows. I want to keep my monetization status. The only way I can do that is with your help. So, please subscribe. Anyway, let's get started. I'm going to put up my banner here. This is my prediction video for Long Beach State. And I'm going to say that I'm putting UH, since I believe that they've turned a corner, I'm putting UH as two-point favorites. Now, this may sound like a lot of the predictions that I've been uh, giving since conference play between one, two, three, four, maybe even five-point favorites. But still, that was before. And uh, and although the, my prediction has not changed, as you, can, as you heard, three-point favorites for UH, or two-point favorites, I should say. But give them credit. I don't expect Long Beach State to come in lackadaisical, but we're going to have to take advantage of every opportunity that we can get. And for someone to uh, tell me that UH has not turned a corner yet, I wouldn't believe him because as far as I'm concerned, from what I've seen in the last four games from the University of Hawaii, they've turned a corner. They've changed for the best. In the first half of the season, UH did not look like themselves. They started out the season two and six, winning against uh, Riverside and uh, Cal Poly. And, or actually uh, against Cal Poly and Bakersfield. That was notoriously down at the bottom of the stack. And then they came through with the win against Riverside. And after that, they still had to find themselves because they were still searching for answers. But as of late, I think that this team has turned a corner because when even though they've lost, they lost their last game at Santa Barbara after coughing up as much as an 11 point lead, I was still. You know, I was still uh, encouraged. That's what I was looking for. I was still very encouraged that they were able to pull out as big a lead as they did against a team like Santa Barbara at their place. And they may have coughed up that lead, but they did not let them get away until the closing stages. So if you can look at, at it that way, and if you look how hard that this team has been playing in the last four games, I'm convinced they've turned a corner. I'm sold, okay? So I'm convinced, and even though that uh, I'm putting UH's two-point favorites may not sound like a, a big difference from earlier in the season, Long Beach State is a, is a damn good team. They're, they're a very athletic team. They got guys like Marcus Sohonis, Jadon Jones, and uh, <clears throat> I think Joel Murray already graduated, but uh, but still, even in the road matchup, UH did not look like themselves. And even though they did come back, they were subjecting themselves to early holes. But I think that's behind them. Okay? I believe that's behind them. Because they haven't let their opponents get away. They've been able to come through and grab control early. And if this continues on, we could be looking at a split with Long Beach State. Last season, we got two wins over them, even through the Jekyll and Hyde games. But we were able to find a way to, uh, to keep Long Beach State at bay. Now, obviously, Long Beach, like I said, they have some very good players like Jadon Jones, Marcus Sohonis. Another guy I left out, Amari Stroud. That guy can shoot, especially Jadon Jones. And who could forget last season when Jadon Jones hit a half court heave that very that was so close to going in. I got to look at that shot on Instagram, and holy smokes, that's enough to give you heart failure if you're a University of Hawaii men's basketball fan like myself.
And if you saw my live stream last year, I actually was pretty close to losing my breath, really, if not suffer from some any form of heart failure. But still, I think UH has turned a corner and Long Beach State better watch out because I believe we'll take it to them. I do believe we'll take it to them. And uh, the only question remains, are we going to see Javon McClanahan back before the season is over? Because we're definitely going to need his services. Now, obviously, I would put an asterisk right by that loss to Santa Barbara because we didn't have Javon McClanahan and Morsec back for that matter. Because those are two guys right there that can certainly put a dent in Santa Barbara's game. Obviously, we didn't get a chance to see that because in the whole matchup, Santa Barbara double whammied us with a 26-0 run. But that's just what it is. But frankly, if Sec hadn't gotten hurt, considering how we're playing right now, Long Beach State would certainly have their hands full and they would certainly have a lot of work to do to keep more sec in check. Okay? So, obviously the start's going to be key. Season control is going to be critical. And keeping it is going to be extra critical. So, we're going to have to pull out a big lead and uh, be able to hold it. It's just the way it is. Because the Big West is so wide open. Now, I do believe that we can salvage a top five out of this. I think we can get to fourth, at least. Third, my prediction, it's probably going to take some luck. Davis and uh, Irvine are going to have to lose some more games for us to even have a chance. So, anyway, guys, that's all for today. And remember, subscribe. That's how my channel grows. I want to keep my monetization status. And I'll see you all soon. Well, I'm a poner, everyone.